You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Black Series review. It's good to be back. It's been a couple of weeks since I dropped a video, almost a couple of weeks. Um, yeah, just got struck down with a bit of a bit of a bit of a cold, bit of a flu bug thing. Um, and yeah, honestly, it's it's good to be hanging out in the Star Wars room again and and getting some new figures in. So this is one I did hesitate to grab, but I thought, you know what, I'm I'm in, I'm in. Is the Mandalorian Night Owl? Um, yeah, <laughs> most people are pretty much done with blue coloured Mandalorians at this point, but I don't know. I look back at a time where we weren't getting any Mandalorians at all, um, so I'm just going to enjoy the ride and, you know, if I can find them, you know, if, even some of these at a, at a slightly discounted rate, I'll, I'll pick them up. But um, yeah, it's, it's, this one is, it's a good figure, you know, mostly repainted uh, from, you know, Cosca Reeves and Bo-Katan. Um, maybe a few extra little different bits and pieces, but I'm not 100% sure. Haven't looked into it too much, but um, yeah, I did get the privates here recently. So I just thought, you know what, I'm in, I'm in, I'm going to grab this one. And we're starting to break it up with some Shriek Hawk uh, Mandalorians coming up. So that'll be nice to sort of break it up a little bit and get a little bit of a mix and flavor for the Mandalorians. But yeah, number 38. There's a little bit of a right up there on the top. A nice picture on the side. And uh, yeah, nice to add another one to the uh, to the Mandalorian ranks. So let's bust it open and have a look. All right, here is the Mandalorian Night Owl. And I'll admit, I'm a sucker for Mandalorians. You know, we went through some pretty tough times through the, you know, early 2010s where Mandalorians were pretty, pretty, pretty thin and far between. There were a few battle packs and stuff released in the sort of early, late noughties. Um, some of them were really hard to get, like the Montross Drastamaril um, and some of the Imperial Commando, Republic Commando sets that had Mandalorians. And uh, yeah, they sort of, aside from your Bobas and your occasional Django Fett, you weren't really getting too many. Um, but so yeah, just grasping every opportunity to grab Mandalorians now, and it's uh, it's worth it. It looks good when they're all sort of grouped together. These guys look sick. So yeah, for the most part, this figure is a direct repaint of Cosca Reeves, um, which in part was a you know a partial retool of Bo-Katan. She had the double holster. Whereas uh, Costco only had the single single holster, so we're getting that here again. And this time she does come with just the one blaster pistol, which is you know what? It's actually kind of nice. It's uh, let's see if we can focus on it a bit better. There we go. It's got a nice metallic sort of grey to it, which is which is always nice. And you can sort of see there is a slight different in paint colour on the uh, on the on the handle of the gun as opposed to the uh the rest of it so that's that's a nice little touch and that will fit nicely you know holsters there so yes yeah, hang out because i will do a little side by side with Costco. um this time the the head helmet isn't removable but interestingly enough there is a head sculpt under there which i'm actually thinking i've got Vokatan here as well I'm actually thinking is just an unpainted Bo-Katan head. It could be. It could be. I could be wrong. But I'm just sort of looking at some of the sculpt similarities in the hair. And I, I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. But the helmet's not removable. It doesn't need to be. Not all of these Mandalorians have, uh, you know, personalities attached to them underneath. You know, some of them are just background characters. Which is fine because, you know, it's nice to sort of fill those scenes up and... And just have them look a little bit different. I like the look of these different coloured Mandalorians. Slightly different shades of blue. You know, they're all sort of stick with the Night Owl. But, um, yeah, obviously the jetpack is another accessory which is removable. So that's always always nice. I do like a good jetpack. But, yeah, in terms of the paint applications, it's, it is very nice and clean. Let's see if I can uh, get a little bit closer here with the light. There we go. So yeah, pretty nice and clean. A little bit of overrun there onto the visor with the, with that silver, but you know, again, sitting on your shelf, you're not going to notice that too much. 
but I like the sort of the silver around the around the visor there just to differentiate that a little bit it sort of follows around the back of the helmet there's a articulated rangefinder there we'll get on the articulation in a minute but yeah all the all the paints done really nicely you know if there are sort of any you can see a little bit of scuffing there on the uh, on the shoulder pauldron which is nice you know a little you know, a little divot in there a little dent but a little bit of that night owl symbol has sort of been scratched off belts nice buckles painted up it's got a gauntlets it's a nice touch of little gold bits on there so that was just sort of a plain gray but yeah got the got the hand armor sort of the upper thigh plates there look good I do like that just helps protect the side of the leg down to the knee armor is sort of unpainted and then the uh, the shin guards over the boots so you're nicely painted throughout looks good very nice We'll go through the articulation. Obviously, I did say there is a little bit of articulation there in the range finder. There's a ball and socket there up in the top of the head. There is a ball joint in the neck there as well. So you get a little bit of movement within that collar. The ball hinges in the shoulders. There is a butterfly joint in there, so you can get that sort of back and forth rock movement, which is nice. Uh, ball hinges in the elbows. Ball hinges in the wrists. The left wrist here goes up and down, and the right one goes up and down too, which is my preference for for gunners, for characters that can hold two two guns, because they don't really need to go in and out. There is a ball joint in the torso there. Good range of movement there if you need it. The ball and socket in the hips, swivels at the thighs, sort of tucked in behind that armor piece as well, which is good. Nice single hinge there in the knee. Hinges in the ankles and that rocker swivel pivot joint in the foot. So yeah, all the all the articulation you expect from Black Series these days. And uh, yeah, let's test out these pegs on our Kessel Run action figure stands. Check them out, KesselRunHair.com. Or made in house, designed in house, and uh, yeah, these are actually designed with three, three different peg sizes. So you can use these for Black Series vintage, 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 and then even this little arch will sort of pop out and peg in there. And you, if you think you, sometimes you need to glue that in just for the nature of the three D printedness. Um, but yeah, for that extra support, you can just slot a foot straight underneath. But we're going to try this larger peg, which is pretty much designed for Black Series. You know, this one's going to be nice and nice and firm. It's a nice tight fit, nice and snug. That's not going anywhere. Get them nice and balanced. You can do all sorts. <laughs> doing some fly kicks but yeah no it's uh nice to see word of our stands are getting out there it's um we love what we've done with these we're always trying to work on different ways to improve them so there we have it and like i said we'll do a side by side with Costco, so you can kind of get a little bit of an idea of the different colors the slightly different blues, or well, very different blues, different sort of undersuits. It just makes them look like completely different figures. So it's um, it's nice. It's appreciated. I like when they do a little bit of touch. And there's uh, obviously Bo-Katan leading the squad, which is very very cool. I do love these. 
do love the look of the night owls. Really nice. I would love to hear your thoughts, folks. Please drop a comment down below, and I will be your friend forever. <laughs> no, I do appreciate all your support. Um, it's nice to be back making some videos again. We'll catch up with you very soon. Until then, may the force be with you always. We would be honored if you would join us.